Hi everyone, this is Sarah Lewis with Lair Realty Partners and I am joining you at my home in New Hampshire on this beautiful spring day. Oh, wait, it's not spring, it's winter for another two months. I guess we're gonna have to wait to put your home on the market until the spring. Oh wait, what? I'm wrong again? Spring isn't the end all be all of the housing market? <laughs> This video today, I want to tell you why it's not necessarily the best thing to wait until spring. My first reason is because life happens. People are getting married, getting divorced, changing jobs, going off to college, coming home from college, expanding their family, and other life-changing events. And these life-changing events don't all just happen in the spring. So at any time throughout the year, people have a valid reason to change their living situation. So there's always buyers out there and there's always people trying to sell their home. Reason number two, in New Hampshire, we saw the least amount of days on the market between September and December. In fact, in New Hampshire, average days on the market in May was about 200 days on the market. But in October, it hit its lowest at only 140 days. What's my theory on this? I think that in the spring, there are so many buyers out there, it's generating these offer deadlines, these bidding wars, so buyers are having to make a quick decision and generally going way above asking price. That could be great for you as a seller, or your buyer's financing could fall through because they did stretch themselves too far. Or they might get cold feet because they made that quick decision and now you have to go back on the market and you're going to spend longer on the market. Whereas in the off season or late fall, early winter, you're getting a more serious buyer. They have a little bit more time to make the decision and because of that, I think it's going to be a faster and more smooth transaction. Reason number three, what you see is what you get. Let's face it. Unless it's a fresh snow like today, which is gorgeous, late fall and winter is not the most beautiful time of year. When all the colors have fallen off the trees and there's no more leaves, and when the snow is covered in dirt and sand from the plow, it's just not pretty. But what you see is what you get, and wouldn't you rather know what your house is going to look like at the worst time of year then in the spring and summer when of course every home looks beautiful. I'll give you an example. When I was in high school, my parents bought a house in April. Beautiful landscaping, beautiful yard. I mean, we all just fell in love. And then came the winter and all the leaves fell off the trees and we could see through the backyard straight to the trailer park. <laughs> and of course the sellers were, you know, so forthcoming about this uh, little site in their listing. Uh, nobody mentioned it. so. You could be surprised in the winter, or you could buy a home in the winter and be pleasantly surprised in the summer. So just some food for thought. I'm certainly not saying that spring isn't a great time to look for a home or to list your home. I just want to open your eyes to the fact that there are other times of year that could be a great time to buy or sell. And the best option for when to list or to shop for homes is when it makes sense for you and your family situation. So if you'd like more information about the statistical days on market for New Hampshire or Massachusetts, please reach out. I'd be happy to share that with you. And at any time of year, if you'd like to reach out with interest, I'll be happy to tell you what's going on in the market and advise what makes sense for you based on your situation. So thanks again, guys. Enjoy this beautiful winter day because we do have fresh snow and winter is here for another two months. So get used to it. All right, everyone. Bye. This is Sarah Lewis from the Results Realtors team at Lair Realty Partners. If you ever have any real estate related questions, please shoot me an email, sarahlewis at lairrealty.com or visit my website, www.sarahlewishomes.com. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos and thanks for watching.